All right, here's this one. It's a 94 Oldsmobile Bravada, gold edition, all-wheel drive. This is the same thing as the, was it, Typhoon or Cyclone, just not turbocharged. Drivetrain's the same, transmission, T-case, everything else. It's fully loaded interior. I picked this one up from a guy I know, because uh, he's seen what I've been doing with swaps and stuff, but needs a good, really good cleaning, as you can see. But it's got the nice bucket seats, power with lumbar, digital dash. Haven't even cleaned it yet, like I said. Uh, the first fixes on it, really, just so I can uh, get this 4.3 sold, so I can show cu customers that uh, it's good to go. Um, put a new radiator in it. Uh, power washed it and cleaned it up because I didn't want to work on it. It was really filthy. So there's that. But 4300 Vortec with spider injection. Great runner. It's got great oil pressure. No funny noises. Nice and smooth. Um, what I had to fix was, like I said, the radiator was bad. Uh, don't believe he has a thermostat in it. But it doesn't build excess pressure or anything like that from a bad head gasket. No bubbles or anything like that. Then the oil cooler block piece that goes to the block for the cooler lines was leaking a steady stream. Not a drip, like I'm saying. Steady stream from right there. So clean that up. Replace that. All good. Got fresh synthetic oil in it. Transmission checks out good. Had to throw some bolts in the transmission mount because they were uh not there but uh yeah this one's gonna get an eight one big block just as the other s10 i'm mocking it up in here it was just easier to get a whole nother car fully assembled and you know this one kind of fell in my lap that one did so it's gonna get this eight one big block in that and i'm gonna try to keep the ac everything intact intact on it which should be not too difficult but you know one custom radiator and some custom exhaust but you can see I got some ram horns right here flip them up trim them out get them done I'm gonna pin this one out for the wiring and the factory harness this way when I take it out it's just a plug and play as far as the 8 one goes into there but yeah Oldsmobile Bravada all-wheel drive smart track but I had to get it stable so I can like I said sell the 4.3 that's in there get rid of that and uh, after that's out of there work on getting the big blocks sitting in there and the radiator made like I said the radiator what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order two two small radiators weld them together and they're gonna sit right here in the front front area where the condenser was then I'm going to trim up this bracket and mount the condenser right in front of it in this area. Condenser, of course. And yes, I'm going to keep the AC in this thing. But you guys will see this come together slowly. This one's got the upgraded brakes on it. I put on it already. This one, I'm going to upgrade the spindles also on it when I get to it. But I'm going to be pulling in a H2. I got to take care of some check engine lights and stuff on this H2. I'm going to go pick up the Wrangler today, too. So, motor for the Wrangler, transmission for the Wrangler. This is the 63 that's coming in for bags, turbo, and 80 conversion. Uh, this setup right here is the six speed setup 32 spline. That's going to go on the Dodge T-Case with the 32 on it with the 0753 right there for another paddle shifter Jeep setup. Why Jeeps? Because they get money. But we'll see about the big block all-wheel drive Bravada. We should be able to get something for this thing too. We'll see. Tell me if there's interest. Um, like and subscribe, you guys. It does help. I would like to start making money off of YouTube but that obviously takes quite some time so <laughs> I just gotta continue doing what I always do building swaps getting them in cars and moving them out so the 66 is getting the brakes today 
and the motor pulled it together and washed. Hopefully I should be able to get it sprayed and painted so I can set it in there and build my mounts. But that's it.